Hello everyone, this is Brian Bentley at CoinOp TV, bringing you gameplay and commentary for Guardians of Middle-Earth, a multiplayer online battle arena set in the Lord of the Rings universe. Uh, if, if you're watching this video, you probably have one of two questions. One, what is a MOBA if you are not, if you are not familiar with it? And two, uh, or, or um, are you really sure that this could work on a console? And the answer is absolutely yes. So for this gameplay footage, I am playing Gollum. Um, I'm not going to be making any weird noises for you. Uh, but I'm pretty much going to describe uh, kind of how it works on a... Um, how it works on the Xbox 360, although it will also be released on PlayStation 3. Um, and kind of give you an idea of how I'm playing it. And then um, we'll go from there. So uh, battleground matches are set to to go for 20 minutes, um, and I am, like I said, I'm playing Gollum. Now you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, and I just leveled up. Um, you're able once you get X number of experience points, then you level up. You always start at level one and build from there. So you have four main skills: X, A, and B are your kind of uh, basic skills, and then Y is your ultimate skill, which you can unlock around level 5 or 6. Now, what you'll notice is I do a lot of uh, attack and run away, and um, there's just kind of how the strategy works. Now, I'm going to go back and recall back to the main base where I can heal faster. And then, so what happened, and I'm going to explain this real quick before it starts, but for about 18 minutes to 12 minutes, there really isn't a whole lot going on, so I sped it up. <laughs> So it's going to look a little uh, little chipmunky, a uh, little fast, uh, but believe me, there is basically uh, roughly six minutes of the game where um, you, there's a lot of back and forth going on. So there are five heroes on each side, and um, it, uh, sides can, you know, the blue side and the orange side can be, it's not, you know, it can have both uh, good guys and bad guys, and I'm dead. All right, <laughs> so I got that going on for me. Uh, it's another reason why I sped it up. I died twice. Um, every time you die in this game, your count, your uh, respawn counter goes a little bit longer each time. Now, what I did there is I just killed a creature, um, which would kill, give you buffs and stuff uh, with the ring kind of going around me. All right. Uh, so here's me doing more running away. Okay, going back to the skills. So X for Golem is the coward skill. Uh, it helps me uh, attack quickly and then run away. Um, so Gollum is the is a quote unquote striker class. Uh, basically, uh, so is Legolas. You know, it's a run in, you know, do some damage and get out. Um, so high DPS, but not very high in the uh, HP factor in your you know hit points. All right. So B is uh, we are uh, we are starving. I almost said hungry. Starving. We are starving. If you can get a guardian or a major creature nearby, what it'll do is it'll suck life out of that creature and then bring it in and then give it to you. So it's very helpful, especially if you get bogged down. Uh, and then A is uh, throttle. So if you can get a hold of a guardian or creature, you can jump out and strangle them. Um, the Y one, which you'll see a little bit later, is uh, my precious. Um, which is your ultimate move, and it basically, there's like a lot of animations, and um, I'll be use it later on, but, uh, all right, so now we're back uh, in real time. I just upgraded to level six. At level six, you can start upgrading the towers. So there are three, There for each lane, there is a tower that uh, produces soldiers, all right, and then there are these larger towers that shoot Tower weapons. Um so what I'm doing is I'm upgrading all the soldier towers to elite soldiers. So uh, instead of, you know, little dinky guys with cloth armor, they come out with some chain mail or something. Um, when you get to level 9, you can upgrade them to mounted warriors so that they have, uh, you know... I, I think for the blue side, I think they're like... Um, like they're riding little pigs, like giant pigs or something. Not wargs, but pigs. Um, or boars, I guess. <coughs> So, um, now that, uh, so we're moving on. All right, now I'm, I'm picking up flowers and stuff. You'll notice that there are these, like this, the shrine, 
and they give you bonuses uh, towards resistance or uh, extra healing that two that keeps popping up uh, we have a we control a shrine in the very very tippy top of the diamond um, if you do want to take a look um, uh, at the mini map, we'll get back to that in a second. I just realized I, I'm going to go through the rest of the things at the bottom. So, listed right next to the diamond on the right is the basic attack. That's your right trigger. Uh, the back button or select button is the recall. That's where I jump back to the base and healed. All right. You also have these things called commands. All right. Uh, that's um, well, I guess above. So at the bottom in the bottom left. Sorry, I'll start there. Is your belt uh, where you can slot relics. And then slot gems into the relics in your belt. And then as you uh, as you increase in level, more of your belt opens up and gives you extra small bonuses. Right above that is your command bar. That is where you, you know, can have special, you know, like a, a special one time. Well, it's not one time, but the count re the counter is very very high. So. You know, uh, for your basic skills, you may have to wait between 10 and 12 seconds. Um, the the one I have listed right now is heal, and that is about uh, about two minutes uh, cooldown. Above that are your potions. Now I've uh, I've gotten to the point where I'm able to unlock two potions. Uh, you have to have the potions in your um, in your inventory, and you have to slot them before you come in. So maybe if you have a lot, you can use it more than once. But I only have one of each of these, so I kind of hold on to them. Uh, so that's kind of what's happening at the bottom. Uh, going to the mini map on the top, so you'll notice that the main bases are in the um, right and left corners of the diamonds, uh, and then each of the p and each of the little dots. Uh, obviously, the yellow dots are for the uh, yellow teams. Here, go! I'm gonna kill them, another elite creature again. And are there towers? And then the little green circles are for he are where the little flower healy flowers are. Uh, and then um, the little uh, asterisks are the shrines. So I leveled up again, um, and now I've, I've got my my Y, my ultimate move, my precious, uh, all set, ready to go. So when you're playing when you're playing Gollum, I, I really have started to like him just from the fact that it's given me more time to uh, appreciate his play style. Um, it, it may make you laugh a little bit, um, but, um, I mean, it really is all about run in, do your damage, and get out. Uh, as you'll see, I'm, I'm running away right now. I use my little coward move. So, to me, it works really, really well, um, the MOBA. Uh, works really, really well here on the console. I was actually very surprised um, just how well it worked. I, I it gets to the point where when I actually am playing League of Legends, I realize that um, right clicking to move is is great and all, but the truth is, I really like having the sticks. I can use the left stick to uh, you know move. I can use the right stick to aim because you can see inside your circle there's a little cone. Uh, of attack and different characters have different cones but um, you know that this is just the one that, that Smeal has and he does have especially when he starts to get up into the higher levels you know he starts to do some serious damage I mean I'm killing archers in two swipes um, enemy has fallen. so when you do level up you can hit the right bumper and and it brings up that uh, it asks you basically which which uh, skill you want to upgrade so that and that's how you're gonna do that now, so that that kind of answers the question of you know, uh, you know, does this work on a console? Uh, if you're still sticking with me, um, I just destroyed an enemy tower, um, so now we can move forward. Now, I, the very first thing I'm gonna attack is one of their soldier uh, upgrades. This way, see now they have elite soldiers right now, but once I destroy the soldier upgrade, they won't be able to create elite soldiers anymore. So that's. Uh, that's what I'm looking to do right now. For those of you who are unfamiliar with um, multiplayer online battle arenas, oh, I'm going to die right here because I. And here's one thing: is just you, you. There's a lot of strategy and tactics, so 
one of the things. Oh, there was the My Precious bra thing. Um, but I uh, decided to take a leap of faith and try to take her out, and it didn't work out so well. Oh, well. That happens. But every time you die, your counter goes up a little bit higher. Uh, so now I have to wait 36 seconds. That's pretty awful. Um, because I've died like two or three times at this point. Which... <laughs> I'm laughing about it myself because, uh, let's face it, I'm just the kind of guy who wants to run in and try to kill everything. You know, when I'm playing an MMORPG, I'm a tank, usually. Um... My job is to run in there, take damage, and fight as much as humanly possible. Alright, so now, uh, I'm going to go and, and fix, now I'm going to upgrade us all to the mounted soldiers, and so that you can see the little uh, little guys, the little minions that run out. Um, see, you look in the bottom right corner, you can see they're on uh, boars or something, I have no idea. Um, so then I'm going to upgrade this tower as well, but it's not really important, they hardly ever get back to that point. Uh, they never get back to us on this. Now this is sort of when the tide of the battle starts to turn towards uh, our side. Uh, as you saw in the beginning, they got one of our towers right away. Um, uh, I just realized... Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm realizing that there's a counter on the belt um, that's that's running, and I'm I'm curious. I'll have to go back and read exactly what that does. So that's, uh, you know, that's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're, I didn't mean to get distracted. All right. So for those of you who are still with me and are unfamiliar with MOBAs, uh, basically there are a certain number of uh, champions, or in this case, guardians, uh, five usually on a side. And uh, then there are these little uh, minions that run around. And basically, all things being equal, you let the minions run out in front of you, let them get just completely steamrolled while you try to accomplish, you know, you know what you're actually trying to do. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, it's something I, I'm still learning a little bit about myself, but uh, there is a lot of uh, running away. So there's a lot of attacking and then running away. Um, not really my, my play style. Oh, there you go. I got somebody. Oh, no. They didn't give me credit for it. That's not right. <laughs> um, so you're at this while you're doing, uh, you know, so each, bat, each battle you go through, you start at level one. And you uh, work your way up to level towards level 14 when you have maxed out all your um, all your skills. At the end of each battle, uh, you get some experience based on you know some of the things that you may have done. Um, so uh, we'll uh, at the end I go through some of the accolades and rewards that I got, so we can take a look at those then. Uh, to kind of give you an idea. As far as other guardians are concerned, uh, you start out with, there. you know, it's sort of like League of Legends, there are just certain guardians that are available right away. Oh, I ate it again. Now I'm up to 40, almost 44 seconds of waiting time. Yeah, not so good. Um, don't die. Uh, and yes, I, I do need to suck a little less. Um, but I, you know, I, I'm actually starting to really like Gollum. Um, the way it is. So right now, uh, there's um, there's a hobbit like engineer where you can like throw up flaming brambles and stuff. That guy's pretty cool. I like him a lot. Um, I, I'm gonna do a video for Gandalf. Uh, you can check it out on our YouTube channel. Um, but you get him for doing going through the tutorial, and it's it's fun, but it's not. He's he's okay, and maybe I'm not good at the enchanter class yet but he's not really for me he's not the, he's really not for me um the one i really like is uh a defender class and it's uh galadriel of lothlorien and she is a great support character um i you know 
earned up enough coins, bought her and Gollum, um, and I really, really, really enjoyed playing Galadriel. Oh, looks like they got out the big guns, uh, so you saw there's a giant guy throwing, uh, throwing boulders, that's the orange one. Now, the what I really like about the about being on the blue, when you're the blue, you're playing as the blue team, I really like, uh, you get Ents. So when you upgrade your, uh, you know, so we're at horses, we could upgrade them to, uh, further to the, um, like, siege class, and... An enemy has fallen. It is awesome just watching Ents walk down the lanes. Now that is pretty badass. Now we're down to the last eight seconds. We didn't get to the center of the base and destroy it, but because we have more points, we're up by, oh, I don't know, 200 points or so, uh, we win the game. Or the match. Alright. Um. Victory! Yay, me! Alright. So I'm gonna, should, uh, we'll just look at uh, some of the rewards and accolades real quick, and then I'm gonna let y'all go. Alright, so that's Guardians of Middle Earth. Um, be sure to subscribe to the Coin Up TV news, uh, the YouTube channel, and uh, make sure that you like this video, and be sure to check out the website for my full review, as well as other videos and original content uh, on the site. That's it for me. See you next time.